hey guys welcome to my channel so in this video i'm going to talk about dwm and i'm also going to show you that how you can make your dwm look like mine with all the rising and stuff so let's first talk about dwm a little bit so dwm is a suckless program it's a really good window manager my favorite window manager and the reason why i use dwm is because that you don't have to config anything so the configuration file is actually inside the source code so this is the beauty of dwm you have to just you know do some changes in the source code and compile it after this you can just forget about your configuration and stuff unlike i3 where you have to you know manage your configuration files and all these stuff uh, this is what makes dwm uh, awesome so there is one more thing why I like DWM. It's a suckless software. So obviously it's very minimal. So that's why I just love DWM. Now there are some people who just say bad stuff about, you know, suckless utility who say that um, uh, suckless softwares are stupid. I mean, yeah, it's true sometimes, but in the case of this window manager DWM, it's not true. Like many people say patching DWM or suckless utility is very hard. The first thing is that if you think that patching DWM software hard, then then why you are patching it why you are using it it's not for you that's simple answer also the thing is that you don't really need to patch anything dwm is by default is perfect so right now uh, i'm going to show you that how you can you know make your dwm look cool without patching anything so i was using luke smith build not actually i was using one of my build but then in the middle for the solo patch i used uh, luke smith's build and uh, let me just show you my previous build so so this is my previous build and it contained four patches and one day i was just sitting looking at this and i realized that i don't need these patches for example i had this full gaps but full gaps looks ugly and i can also use my windows in floating mode i don't think there is any need of full gaps uh, also this sys tray so you don't really need sys tray no one has sys tray luke smith's build also don't have sys tray also there is one more thing and i don't even know why i have this patch maybe it's because i thought it's it's going to help me with pie wall and stuff but no it's completely useless also this xrdb patch now this is something which i needed for my pie wall stuff but then i decided to you know go raw because by default you don't actually need to install any patch you know apply any patch for pywall you can do this without any patch so as you can see i'm doing it now one patch which i don't have here and by here i mean my in my dwm build uh, which is that solo patch and uh, you know lee smith's build had that solo patch so i just wanted to try that patch and for that i used lee smith's build that is the only patch which i desperately needed so in a distributive video i saw that um, uh, let me open that video so i saw that he was he t told me uh, not me actually he told a really good technique to you know make your window managers uh, use solo without using any solo patch or anything like that so uh, what i have now is i use this program which is dwar and if i you know play anything for example mpv or wait not mpv sxiv picks wall uh, press enter so it's going to put my st in the background so it's going to hide my st and i can then use my sxiv and if i press q uh, i'm back again in my terminal so this script is not using any patch and you can run the script anywhere like on any window manager and after this thing i was like yeah i was so happy i truly wanted to kiss the head of distrotube and i don't know why i said that but yeah so after this i realized that fuck it i don't need any patch and i always hated this uh, you know patching dwm because uh, i always thought that dwm is pretty perfect you don't need all those fancy layouts and anything you can just use what you got by default so yeah after solo thing done i figured out a way to use pi wall also i use dwm blocks and some fancy tags here so i raised up my dwm the way i had before and even it's better better than before so i just love this and now i'm going to show you that how i did this 
all right so let me just show you that how you can install dwm and rise it up a little without you know applying any patch so it's going to be a pretty simple tutorial the first thing you have to do is just clone the main repo which you get from success's website so get dot slash dwm and i assume that some of you might follow this tutorial in your arch dty so that's why i typed this whole thing uh, I did some mistake. All right, so depth is equal to one. Sorry about that. Let's press enter, and it's going to clone that you know fresh dwm build from success's website now i cloned it in my home directory but it's a good practice if you clone all your builds in your dot local slash src directory the reason why i cloned it in my home directory is because i already have one build in my dot local slash src so let's just see this fresh dwm build which we got from our success website so these are all the files and you can apply patches to it but this is not what we are going to do in this uh, tutorial so the very first thing which i want to do is just remove this dot git directory you don't need this the second thing which you should do is just change this uh, config dot dev dot h into config dot h all right so just rename it it's just going to save some of your troubles now the third thing which you might need to do so if you want emojis like this so i have these emojis there is one thing you have to change in this drw.c so open drw.c and search for is call so i s c o l so when you search you will see this piece of code and you have to select it and also select these comments you don't need this and then delete it so I can't give you much detail but the only thing I can say that this code is restricting our emojis to get printed. So you can watch some videos of LeakSmith if you want to understand more about it. I will give link in the description and after saving your file uh, you are done with your source code. Not exactly I mean you are going to do changes in this uh, config.h file but you don't have to touch anything uh, except from this config.h file. And this is like a config file also this is a c header file in case if you don't know c so in c we have these header files where you know we do some stuff so so now it's time to do some changes in our config file so this is what we are going to do so open your config.h and as you can see we have a bunch of variables here you can see this int and char so you know what int means it means integer variable and char means you know character variable so in case if you don't know c i think it's uh, not very hard if you don't know c still you can you know do these changes so the very first change i want to do is just change this border prex from one to two because you can see my borders in the corner is not uh, one pixel long it's two pixel long there is one more change I want to do. I want to change this front from mono space to jet brains mono. And uh, I'm also going to change these fonts in the D menu. I also want to change this size from 10 to 12 because 10 is very small for myself. Uh, I also need to add one more font here. So this is like a uh, callback font. So this is Joy Pixels font. And it's good if you install it. So sudo pacman minus s ttf joy pixels so keep this in mind you have this font installed and this is for emojis so you need to have this font as a secondary font to have emojis in your dwm now let's just do some more settings like add the pixel size so pixel size should be you know 12 and ntli so it this should be true and uh, one more thing that auto hint i don't know what this do but you just make it true close the quotations and we are done here you can tweak with this setting later to you know adjust it according to your preference now after this i just want to remove all these colors because you don't need these default colors so you have to delete all those portion so we had this so after deleting it you will see something like this so it's more clean now after this uh, you can see there are some tags so these tags are something which we you are looking at here but uh, i changed these uh, values from one to for example just give this a terminal symbol so this is how you can give this is an angle bracket and then underscore so you can use some ascii art to make it look nice so i don't like numbers it doesn't make any sense and this is very useful for example now every time i open browser i open browser in this 
this tab so this is where my browser is so this is why i like this more than numbers numbers are pretty boring so you can put some emojis faces here so you can grab this emoji if you want this one it's hard to see but if you want this you can you know search or i will give it in the description i don't know how to type this you can put literally anything here so it's just up to you but here one thing to notice that i only have one two three four five six so i only have six tags here so i think it's better if you just have you know six tags and not more than six because no one really use all these tabs they hardly use five tags and i don't think there is no use of more than five so i'm going to you know delete everything after this sixth also here you, there is no hard rule you can show some creativity make some s key art not very long just you know the, for example this is some kind of male symbol so i'm trying to represent male here so you can do these art to make it look more cool and not the number now after this what you have to do which is i think very must thing to do so here you can see this mod one mask uh, after you scroll down a little so you might want to change this to from one to four so what th this mean is that by default dwm use meta key and i don't know why dwm use meta key meta means by the way alt key so for a window manager using meta key is not good it's going to conflict with a lot of other things like in email max it's going to conflict so it's always good to use super key because super have some windows icon i mean this is just me but yeah it's it make more sense if you use super key so to use super key you have to type mod for mask so that's what i did here and now after this what we have to do just come to this line and remove all these colors in this t menu run so what this is this is actually a command so this is the command and then some flags now it's okay to have this d menu mon command and d menu font command uh, which is going to specify font but um, before this we don't want anything else so delete till you know angle bracket so just delete after this whatever we, we were looking because we removed all those colors variable before and we are going to take care of colors later right now d menu don't need any you know predefined colors by yourself d menu is a free software it can take care of his colors by his own so just do this and then scroll down again to the keys so this is the keys array so this is going to be the most typical part of your configuration because here you have to do some you know make some decision you have to make your own fashion just you know choose what keys is good for you now i'm not going to tell you you have to figure this out by your own all i'm going to say is that don't use any you know shell commands or you know run any scripts by you you know binding keys here so don't do this many people do this let me just show you uh the d menu oh sorry d menu not d menu uh dwm build of luke smith so what he do is he binds so many stuff in his you know let me just show you so many people do this and i don't like this and i will never recommend you to do this so as you can see all these commands so he bind commands here in his dwm build i think he he stopped doing it the moment he he started using simple x hotkey daemon but still in his uh, build i can see that on all these commands so this is not a good practice don't do this use a simple x hotkey daemon program to bind all the keys in your dwm build just you know bind your window manager related keys so here i'm not going to tell you what you should do i'm just going to show you my uh, dwm build so local src dwm and open config.h so this is my build and let me go to keys so this is my keys array and what i did is i bind all the keys which is in the center line of my keyboard so l k j h all of these keys are in one line and i bind all these keys to my window manager so this is just perfect for me let me open this screen key and show you how this works so if i press super space it's going to you know uh, pop up this d menu and if i do super enter it's going to open new terminal if i do super ds then it's going to you know change the horizontal vertical layout i don't know what this is but yeah i mean it's hard to explain i know what this do but 
um i don't know what to say so uh jk not jk actually l and what is this sorry i don't have keys in my keyboard so i i think it's uh, h i don't leave it ah uh, yeah h so uh l and h to you know change the size and jk to change the focus and if you have multiple windows then in my you know keys build if i press windows f not windows actually super sorry i say windows sometimes so uh super f to change the you know not change actually swap the master to slave so that's what this also uh super g to hide uh, the you know top menu uh, you know bar and uh, to change the you know layouts i have i have bind to w e r all right so super w it's going to ch it's going to change the layout into tiling so i i'm already in the tiling and super e is going to change everything into the floating so this is the floating and if i do super r so it's going to you know monocal monocal layout and let's get back to tiling again and to close the window super q so this is just my key bindings i'm not going to you know bore you by just telling everything and this is the hard part what you have to do is just uh, understand what these functions is doing uh, what was i doing all right so let's just close my build and go back to our dwm build so this is config.h all right so what you have to do is you have to figure out what these functions are doing and by just running the default key bindings you can understand and then bind keys uh, in your fashion and after binding it don't do it again and again just do it one time and compile it and practice it and once you get all these key bindings in your muscle memory this window manager is going to be perfect for you so now we are almost done with everything uh, we talked about keys we did all the other settings one more thing here you might want to remove this uh, uh, 7 8 9 tag keys because you are not using these tags so you don't need to you know bind these keys one last thing which is remained is this section where we removed our colors so you have to add one line here to get colors and uh, before talking about that line i have to explain some things which are related to pywall because i am using pywall in my you know dwm so first let's install pywall so what uh, to install pywall you have to type sudo pacman minus s and then what was that python minus s pywall so this is going to install pywall i already have pywall and after this just go to pics and wall so what you have to do suppose you just change your wallpaper and you want your dwm colors similar to that wallpaper so x wallpaper minus minus zoom and then some wallpaper so any wallpaper let's just random wallpaper so this is my wallpaper right now and now i want my colors you know my color scheme similar to this wallpaper so to get uh, the color scheme what i have to do is remove all this command and type wall minus i so wall is the command for pi wall and when you run this it's going to generate a color scheme all right so i use st terminal and this is luke smith's st build so it's going to you know update the my colors in real time you might don't uh, have this but this video is not about you know terminal i mean you this video is about uh, our dwm so after generating color schemes how pywall work is if you go in the dot cache directory and you will find this uh, wall directory and if you go inside that and do ls you are going to see all these files so what are these files so First of all, these are the colors which uh, Pywall generated for our system. So this is nothing but bunch of colors which Pywall fetched out from this wallpaper. So he, you know, just fetched all the colors which is occurring a lot. And if I type new fetch here, you're going to see all the colors here. Also, we have this colors file. So these are all the colors listed. Now what Pywall do is that it generates these config files for different different programs so if you are using console so console is like a terminal for kde so this is the color scheme this is like the configuration of color scheme for that particular program now what we want is this colors wall dwm.h because that's the configuration for colors of dwm so let me open this colors 
uh, you know minus wall and then dwm edge so as you can see this is the code and this code is pretty similar to the code which we deleted earlier in the video so what you have to do is you have to come to this uh, our config file and we have to add this include and then the path of this file so you have to type the full path you can't do any shortcut so you have to type your username here you have to type this whole path here and if you want to you know see some documentation some written version of how you can do this you can do uh, go to this pywall github so this is pywall's github and uh, here if you go to customization and look for d menu so not d menu actually dwm um, so this is dwm and this is the guide which you have to follow now here it says that um, here it says that that this also assumed you have urgent color patch so urgent is a patch for dwm and we are not using any patch and right now this uh, you know pywall assume that we have that patch so what we have to do here is that um, coming back to this uh, so this is the code for you know pywall and we have to remove this second last line which means this line so remove this and save this file so we have to do this every time now you might say okay so i have to open vim or you know do this every time no we can run a set command for this to do this quickly and script things out so don't worry it's going to be you know you can you will be able to change your color schemes on fly but right now we are done with our configuration of our dwm build this is the last part which you had to do just add this line and every time when we change our wallpaper we will get a new colors wall dwm.h file and we have to recompile our dwm if we want to change the colors and that's what we are going to do this is not going to take much time it's pretty simple it's pretty quick i do this and i think it's it's pretty perfect so just save and quit and now if we do sudo make uh, install uh, it's this is going to work this is exactly same as my current dwm build and after restart of my dwm we are going to see the colors which we have right now in our you know that particular dot h file so which means we are going to have colors for this particular wallpaper so you can see that after the restart my dwm colors is changed and it's similar to my wallpaper so what you have to do now is um you have to write a script or you know let me just tell you what this script do and what i'm talking about so this is my terminal and what you have to do is go to local and then bin so not actually you don't have to do this this is the script which i have and i'm going to put the link in the description so what this script do is first it choose a random wallpaper so here on this line i am using find command to you know give a list of all the wallpapers and then it's going to use shelf minus n um, one to you know just get the random wallpaper so you need to have all your wallpaper in a particular directory and you have to give that directory here and after this uh, you are going to use x wallpaper minus one zoom you know the, all the command to change the wallpaper in the background so after this you have to use this wall minus i command to generate the color scheme and this slash tape slash null is nothing but just putting the output in uh, nowhere all right so this is the set command which i was talking about so uh, you have to use this set command to remove this second last line so this set command is going to remove and this is just going to take took care of uh, that thing which i was talking that urgent patch thing so after this your uh, colors wall dwm.h will be ready to get included in your source code so you have to just recompile your source code here so this is what i'm doing i'm recompiling uh, the source code what this is going to do let me just run this and show you so now if i run set bg it's going to give me a new look but um, there is one thing which you have to keep in your mind so when i press enter so here i got wallpaper let's just run this again i got the wallpaper which i was using let's just run it again okay so this wallpaper as you can see this is the wallpaper but my dwm color is not changed uh, even though it's recompiled you can see recompiling dwm because you have to restart your dwm 
now if you open your xnet rc so this is my xnet rc um so here what i'm using in the last usually many people write here exec dwm so this is just going to open your dwm and when you kill it you have to re-log in to restart your dwm but what i'm using is this while loop so i have my dwm inside this while loop so when i close my dwm like super shift so it's going to you know, restart my dwm uh, it's like a hot reload all right so it's not going to kill my dwm so every time i change my wallpaper i have to do this hot reloading of my dwm and it's going to you know put all my windows here uh, in this one place so this is something i don't like but i have to live with this now the thing about me is that i don't usually change wallpapers all right so what i want is on the startup uh, i just want to set a new wallpaper a new look and i just want to live with that new look so that's why in my xnet rc i have this uh, you know my set bg script running so on the startup my dwm set a new wallpaper and uh, it just you know change its color according to new wallpaper and this is just it i don't have to do any hot reloading and anything like that who who change wallpaper every time i mean it's good if you just change wallpaper once when you are restarting your computer so that's about it i think this is all for dwm now there is one more thing i want to talk about and uh, it is very simple that uh, when you use dwm you get this uh, annoying gaps in middle of you know terminal screen so so if you are following my tutorial you must see some gaps here in middle of st also some gaps in the bottom and these gaps are pretty annoying so there is a solution i found for this it's pretty simple you have to apply this any size patch on your st terminal and uh, i use luke smith's st build so luke smith st build and if you don't want much headache um it be, after your dwm you can use luke smith st build it's a good build unlike luke smith dwm build so you can follow this readme you can install uh, luke smith's build and then you can apply this patch on luke smith's build so let me just show you it's pretty simple um you know open let me open one terminal so git clone and then clone this st build um go to this st and if you do sudo make install it's going to you know work pretty fine and now let me just show you the annoying bug so this is the bug you see that there is some gaps in the bottom and also in the middle so this is the issue which i was having by default so where is that st build so now to solve this issue we are going to apply this patch so just click on this copy this link and wget paste this link and download this patch so to apply this patch where is that patch all right so this is the any size patch what you have to do is you have to type um, you can do git apply i think git apply is not a good way to patch things so p1 and then st any size so this is the command which you have to run to you know patch your luke smith's build i mean so when you press enter it's going to work perfectly uh, so i'm not getting any problem this means you also will not get any problem so sudo make install and this is going to work and um, now if i open my terminal you can see that there is no caps so this is working perfectly also don't forget to change the fonts and make things better for yourself and one more thing that you might say what about these uh, d menu blocks and all this cool stuff well um i do use luke smith scripts here so let me go to local not src local bin and so i have some scripts here and these scripts i got from luke smith's uh, github and you can use these scripts in his dwm blocks so this is not uh, related to dwm and this video is already very longer it, it was about dwm so i will make another video related to this hope you guys like this video many people were requesting for this video so if you did like this video then please you know like this video and